Good afternoon, this is Sam Cox with a demonstration video on how a teacher can input their scores into Performance Matters for an assessment that students may have taken uh, on or via paper and pencil. I'm looking at a teacher dashboard. The steps I'm going to go through are I need to release the test to the students and then I need to go ahead and enter their scores. So to release the test to students, I go up to the test button, select the test center, and for this particular test, I'm just going to take the first one on this teacher's list, 10RI03. I'm going to select that test and release that test. Then I need to select which students I want to release it to. Again, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to pick the first two students, click the Release button. Now I see that that test has been assigned to those students. I can go ahead and close out of that window. Now my students have already finished taking the test paper pencil. I've collected all their answer documents, so I'm ready to enter their scores. Again, I'm still in Test Center. I look for that assessment, 10RI03. Go down to Select, and this time I'm going to go to Online Scoring. This will take me right to my 10RI03 assessment. However, right now I don't see any students showing up. That's because it's only showing at the the button is clicked for only showing finished students. I need to uncheck that button, and then you can see I can select a student, and I've got two different students here that I can enter scores in. This screen will allow you to enter all five answers for that particular student. If you'd rather score the assessment by item, you can do that. Here I have the two students, and I can change which item I'm scoring. Since I only have two students, I'm going to go ahead and do the score by student. All I do is come down here and look at items 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and go ahead and enter their answers off of their paper pencil answer document. I finished that student's score. Now I'm going to go to my second student and again enter their scores. and that's all there is to it. It does take about 15 minutes for students to move from the assigned to finished category. Now we just finished entering these scores. Let's see what that might look like in our OLA student admin. So I can go from tests to OLA student admin. Remember I have to select a test. Uh, this was 10 R. I03 if I'm not mistaken. And look, here I see that I have already, uh, or these two students have already moved from the assigned to the finished portion of um, their status. Now, we can go see if they happen to have already shown up in student item analysis. Uh, again, this may take a little while for that data to transfer over, uh, so you might have to be patient to actually see your data. So I'm gonna go over to my reports. Student item analysis. Remember, I have to select my assessment, and we were looking at 10RI03, and I see that that is not showing up yet in my list of assessments that I've given. So I would give it about oh, 15 to 30 minutes, and then it should show up in your student item analysis. If you find it doesn't show up after 30 minutes, maybe wait for that overnight build, and that data should show up then. If you're still not seeing your data, you have more questions about it, please feel free to reach out to me so I can help you find your data. Okay, if you have any other questions about how to score students' assessments, please let me know. Again, you can give me a call down at the district office or email me at sam.cox at deltaschools.com, and I'm happy to come meet with you in person if you need some more assistance. Thanks, and have a great day.